Hey guys, it's me again, welcome back. And today I'm gonna to be going over what I think is a brand new pair of shoes from a sports company that I don't think many people are very familiar with when it comes to running shoes. So, uh, full disclaimer, I got these shoes as a trial for um, runrepeat.com. I'm gonna be giving them a much more in-depth review. I've got a lot more testing to do with this, but I just wanna give you guys an intro on these. So this is the Scott Cruz from Scott Sports. Uh, I'm familiar with the Scott Sports brand because uh, my time in Iraq, I used to wear Scott goggles on my helmet and they made phenomenal uh, goggles. They were very scratch resistant, very durable. So was not aware that they actually made running shoes. I had to look into them and they made, they make trail shoes and road shoes. And these, like I said, are the Scott Cruise. This, as far as I know, is a brand new pair or model of shoes that they have come out with. They have another uh, set of running shoes for for the road that I haven't seen anybody else wear. So I'm pretty fortunate that I got these. Uh, these do come in only one color, as you can see. I'm gonna put one shoe down. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. So that way we can focus on this guy. And uh, if you see any dog hair, I apologize. My dogs are shedding, it's uh, summer here and I can't control the weather. But just to give you a quick overview, it's got an engineered uh, mesh it is very breathable. I've done a couple runs in them. Feels nice. It's pretty narrow. So if you got wide feet, definitely go half a size or a size up. It's got rubber on the bottom, EVA all through here. This shoe is very different from every other shoe I've worn in that it's an 11 millimeter drop. 11. I'm used to zero with the ultras or six to seven with my on shoes or even the uh, Adidas or Adidas Ultra Boost that I've worn which this shoe I'm gonna compare a lot with later on. So I might have a follow-up video where I compare the Scott Cruise with the Ultra Boost because I see a lot of similarities with it. But that 11 millimeter drop was weird. Uh, when I broke these shoes in the first day I got them, I was walking around the mall with a mask because it's pandemic time, practicing social distancing and trying to be healthy. But it felt pretty weird walking around with uh, 11 millimeters uh, from the heel down to the toe. I uh, did a couple of runs with these and they feel good. It took me just a little bit of adjusting to having such a huge drop in there, but it was, I think it'll be okay. Again, it's a uh, very narrow at the front. So make sure if you get these shoes to go possibly size up if you have wide feet. Uh, these retail for about $140 US or 125 pounds if you're from the UK or 139.95 euros if you're from the EU. Uh, these weigh, I believe, 9.9 .9 ounces or 280 grams, I think is what, it, what the website says. When I tried looking these shoes up before I got them, it was very hard to get the information. Then once when the shoes actually showed up at my doorstep, boom, the information was there. Uh, you can definitely order these around the world. Like I said, this is from Scott Sports. The outsole is very durable. I'll tell you that right now because of that rubber. But if you got any questions about these shoes, let me know down below. I'm gonna keep testing them. I'm hoping to put out several more videos. Uh, I'll probably do that after I get an in-depth video out for Run Repeat because they deserve to like get the best information from me on this. But yeah, if you got any questions, let me know down below. All right, until next time, bye guys.